Welcome to another Fireside Chat with HyperMX. I'm Eric Blevins, joined here today by Dee Ann Belsky from Zedge. Dee, welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Why don't you tell us about Zedge and what your role is there? So Zedge is a, a personalization app, uh, pre predominantly on Android, and it is about um, ringtones and wallpapers. It's about skinning your phone, and it's about listening and um, having access to a variety of unique sounds that you can put on alerts and on text messages and even on your ringtone. And you are Senior Director of Ad Operations and Analytics, correct? Yes. And what goes into that? It's uh, a little bit unique. So um, I have um, probably two functions. I serve as running the Ad Operations function, so it's all of your day-to-day -day, uh, mediation, yield management, optimization. The second piece is actually um, being a part of our monetization team in terms of the strategy and being more of a, a, a driver and decision maker in that process. I imagine when it comes to monetization, you're balancing IEPs with ads. Um, are there ad units that are performing overly well compared to others for you guys? So it's, it's interesting that you speak to that. So we are um, building out what we believe to be um, our next gen kind of business strategy and product. And it involves allowing users to uh, purchase licensed content. And, and uh, whether that be from an artist or a designer from a, um, an image perspective or actually from a musician. So it's, we're, we're just diving into that IAP. Um, we've been to date 100% um, advertising base. What, what is really um, working for us is, you know, there's no doubt the rewarded video. So when you deal in um, this new licensed world where people can purchase content, you're, you're just naturally able to emplace the IEP, the rewarded video uh, strategy. And so that's, that's helped us move our monetization strategy along. So what metrics do you look at on a daily or even a weekly basis to make your decisions based around monetization? One of the things I really like is a metric that is called impressions per DAO. I, I think it's this underrated, undiscussed metric, but it, it tells, it helps to tell a full picture um, when you're doing analyses and experimenting. Is there any other analysis or any other methods that, you know, to, to your average person might seem a little obscure or non-obvious that you use to kind of get an edge? We know um, what user trends are. So imagine, um, unfortunately, it always comes to mind is um, Prince, when he passed away, believe it or not, our, our users started searching. And you say, why would they search for that in Zedge? But they do. And so we've got this plethora of information. Um, and we're starting to get to a point where we look at it, um, the content, the images, the, the ringtones, the notifications, really um, being able to identify from an analysis standpoint a consumer and, and nailing down who we believe you are in a very intelligent way using, again, the, the machine learning and the analytics. So can you talk to us a little bit about how you manage your partnerships with your ad networks, your mediator? We have analytic tools, we have mediation platforms, and it's all the same. You want stability, you want reliability, and in managing those partnerships, you're hoping that that product is, is, is evolving with you as you uh, hear and know what's going on in the industry and know how you want to run your optimization or run your analytics uh, to, to get to that best um, you know, monetization opportunity per user. I want to thank you for coming by. Maybe we'll do this again. You're always welcome to drop by and see us again. Thank you. Happy thank to you. stop by. Thanks.